it, you guys. I think that this is gonna be the lemon looking rat. Actually, you know, I should probably add some more things to this. What else should I add to it? Alright, hello champions, and welcome to a brand new video that is going to be on the channel, you guys. This is actually something that I've never done before, and I'm pretty hyped to do it. Basically, as you could probably already tell by the title, yes, I am going to be drawing your comments today. So, I want to see if I can actually make this a series. So, if you would like to see this as a series, definitely comment down below what you would like to see me draw in the next episode. And I will pick some of your guys' comments and even draw them. But since this is the first episode, I actually just ended up grabbing a few comments from uh, people in my Discord here. So if we go ahead and look at some of them. Okay, so Daniel T. Can says a half pug half Enderman good luck Okay, so you guys I'm not the world's best artist or anything But when I end up drawing this half pug half Enderman I'm just gonna try and do my best attempt So what I was thinking is we could either do a pug that was with Enderman legs Which I'll probably do or we could do an Enderman that's like super short like a pug or something So I don't think I'm gonna like that idea too much This one will probably be a little bit better So if we start out with the Enderman Enderman kind of face here a little bit and also so why I'm doing this is I actually ended up getting a new graphics tablet one thing that I actually like about this graphics tablet is you can kind of see whenever I am like I guess like drawing here a little bit which I didn't know too much about graphics tablets because whenever you're using the mouse on like a program drawing program or something then it automatically fills a circle like you can kind of see where the, like a circle is for the cursor or whatever but if I put more pressure on this tablet then you can kind of see it fills up the whole entire circle can't really see my hand right now or anything but you can kind of see where I'm putting more pressure and I can just keep making like skinny lines or long lines skinny or long and I really like that so enough fooling around let's actually get into this so if we're gonna draw a half pug half enderman dude this is gonna be pretty cool so first things first we're gonna go kind of medium drawing a little bit I guess you could say oh my goodness my line is like terrible I need to redo that you guys okay so we need to draw a line something like this and we need to make our little uh, face here so this will be the pug face <laughs> half pug face right here and then once we end up getting this down, then we can actually just uh, fill it in. And oh my goodness, I cannot draw this line, you guys. Okay, I think that's good right there. So if we do something like this, and then if we, we have to close this off uh, so we can have the face. All right, I closed it off so we can have the face right there. I think that's pretty good. And then what we're going to have to do, either we could, I don't know, we could actually, I'm just going to go ahead and do it this way. I'm going to make little arms for the pug right here. These are going to be his little Enderman arms. Oh my goodness, dude. And then if we go over here, we're going to have some pretty long Enderman legs, you guys, because you guys know how long Endermans are. So we're going to do something like this. Oh my goodness, I think this looks really weird. So already we're going to have some of those curvy looking legs. And then I think something like this, if we uh, kind of adjust this a little bit here. All right, I think I might have to do a little bit of adjusting here, but if we make this arm somewhat like this, we're gonna have to make this arm somewhat look proportionate a little bit to the other ones. Once again, it's not gonna be the greatest draw on you guys. This will get better over time, and oh my goodness, what in the world did I just do right there? So I'm gonna have to erase this a little bit. But yeah, you guys, I'm actually pretty curious to see how this series is gonna go. If it's actually gonna be pretty interesting to you guys, you guys can see my artistic abilities. Episode 1 is probably not gonna be the greatest, because I'm probably gonna be erasing a lot here, but hopefully you guys can deal with it. Alright, so we have something like this. If we actually make our eyes here, we should be able to make something that looks a little bit like this. Oh my goodness, these eyes, you guys. These eyes are kind of weird. <laughs> they are definitely kind of weird for a pug. Anyways, it's going to be kind of what we look like because it's a pug Enderman. So we need to keep that in mind. I don't really know how pug eyes look too much, but uh, I'm attempting to do the best. So if we have something like this. Okay, so looking at a picture of a pug a little bit, we kind of need to put a little bit of some shadow around his eyes. I guess I can do that afterwards, but for right now, we need to make the nose. Hopefully it doesn't look like a pig nose too much, but it's going to be something like this. And then if we do something like this, I think that should be good. And then the mouth is going to look something like this. So yeah, there we go. Now we're starting to get the kind of pug feel a little bit, you guys. I don't know why so many people wanted a pug, but it seems like some people did. Maybe you can even make some teeth here. Okay, this actually might look like a rabbit. This actually kind of looks like a rabbit a little bit. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys, I'm trying to fill in a few things here, and then this should be it for Pug Enderman. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude, this looks hilarious. Okay, guys, maybe we can actually change this up a little bit, but this is what it looks like so far. Maybe make a little 
eye here. Actually, you know what? Let's actually change this to a darker brown color, okay? I think something like this should work. If we just fill this in, yeah, I think that somewhat works, you guys. What do you think of that? This is our fucking Enderman. Oh my goodness, dude. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for the end of this one. Oh, wait, wait. No, no, no. We need to make a tail really quick. Let me make a tail really quick on this guy. Do something like this, and then we can have something back like that. And if we take the same color of uh, the pug here, take the same color, and then we can fill this in like there. All right, there we go, you guys. This is our first drawing. Ah, uh, for our first drawing, I wouldn't say not terrible, but kind of uh, somewhat of a disaster. Cheesy Cam says, baby fish alligators in space with a little rocket ship. Okay, first things first, if we're gonna be making this out in space, we definitely need to have a space background. So that's what I have right here. Now I'm gonna actually have to make baby fish alligator in space with a little rocket ship. Okay, so first things first, we can have our rocket ship be right here, okay? Hopefully this rocket ship does not look too bad. Actually, no, I need to already readjust this. Can draw this like this, maybe have the little propeller thingies. You guys know what I'm talking about coming out of it. We have something like this where the rocket ship is going through. And uh, yeah, okay, that looks like that. And we can have a little helmet thing right here where the astronaut is at. So I could probably just fill this whole entire thing in. All right, there's our rocket ship for right now. I'll fill that in later, but then we need to have something over here. Here is where we're actually gonna have our alligator. So actually, I'm just gonna make one alligator because this is probably already gonna look bad enough. But our alligator is going to be, I don't know if she wanted to end the rocket ship, but this is just gonna be a floating alligator. So hopefully that is okay. Actually, you know what? This kind of looks like a dinosaur already. <laughs> this is gonna be a dinosaur, sorry. This is my version of an alligator, okay? All right, so we have this. We have the little arms coming out. Um, yeah, I think this is definitely a dinosaur. And then maybe it's even a T-Rex. I don't even know. But then we have this right here. And then I think we could just curve this up around like here. And then its other leg will kind of be like somewhat behind the other leg. And so right there. There will be good enough. Okay, so now you guys we're gonna have to draw an eye His other eye is gonna be on the other side, so we won't have to worry about that. Oh my goodness This alligator kind of looks somewhat shocked. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that it's a dinosaur I think we can all agree that this is a dinosaur. So let's go ahead and save us some time and discuss that Okay, this is going to be our green dinosaur. Maybe we can have him have like a bluish eye I don't want it really to go too much with the background. Yeah, I think that should be good enough you guys Hopefully you guys are thinking that this looks cool already. Actually, you know what? For his spikes, we could actually just kind of fill us in a little bit. And then, so it kind of actually looks like spikes. Okay, there's our dinosaur. Maybe we can actually add some detail. I don't know, make a few a few spikes right here on his tail. And then we'll adjust that a little bit later. I don't know, do dinosaurs have spikes on their tail? I honestly don't know. And uh, yeah, oh, actually, you know what? Let's give this guy a little bit more detail. Maybe he has some little uh, fingernails or little dinosaur nails right here. I don't even know what they're called. Oh, we need to give him some teeth, don't we? I just realized that. We need to give him this guy some teeth. Okay, those are his mini teeth right there. And then we can fill in, oh my goodness. Okay, that is not what I wanna do. I think I actually need to adjust this rocket ship a little bit more and make sure it's completely closed in. Cause if it's not, then it's not gonna know it's detail. Okay, you guys, I did a little bit more detail. I guess we could actually even go and get some of the dinosaur right here if we wanted to, and then even put a little bit more detail into this guy, couldn't we? All right, you guys, I think that's gonna be it for the dinosaur. So there is the dinosaur in space. Fade it says, draw a lemon looking rat that is playing Sky Wars with a pug. Okay, you guys, I actually don't think I'm gonna make this in Sky Wars. I'm just gonna go ahead and attempt to draw the, um, whatchamacallit, the lemon looking rat because this, I have no idea how it's gonna be, but the pugs, there were so many comments that uh, people have said about the pugs, but I'm just not good at drawing pugs, you guys. I'm just not good at drawing pugs, so. If we have a lemon, so first we're gonna have to have the shape of a lemon, okay? So we have the lemon right here. Actually, we should probably move this back a little bit. All right, so I think that's good, and then we're gonna have a rat right here, dude. Oh my goodness, I honestly have no idea how this is gonna look. So if we have the rat's ear, maybe we can have something like this. It actually kind of looks like an armadillo a little bit. Then we'll have something like this, have a little nose for the rat. Oh, actually, this doesn't look that bad. 
This actually doesn't look that bad. We can even have some teeth, you guys. There we go. We have some teeth. And we need to finish off the lemon a little bit here. And yeah, that's good. And maybe have like a super long tail or something for the for the rat here. So if we do something like this, then yeah, I'm actually liking this one. Okay, let's actually draw ourselves a little bit of hands. Okay, this is actually where we might mess up. Maybe. I don't even know if rats have like the same hands as us or if they don't but anyways you guys they're gonna have the same exact thing that that we do so hopefully it is true all right let's go ahead and make our eye right here there's our eye should i make another eye no i don't think i'm gonna make another eye that's gonna be on the other side of the face have this it's gonna be his ear okay trying to make this look like a limit a little bit because we're gonna go ahead and bada bing bada boom splat this on here okay there we go that's the lemon part now if we actually kind of go for a gray tone for the uh, rat here. I think that should be pretty good if we just keep this careful a little bit. Hey, this actually doesn't look half bad, you guys. This actually doesn't look too bad. Okay, now we need to add some detail on this teeth right here. We got the tooth. Actually, I just realized I forgot to, uh, whatchamacallit, fill in his nose. Can't have a rat without a nose. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's gonna be a pink nose. All right, you guys. I think that this is gonna be the lemon looking rat. Actually, you know, I should probably add some more things to this. What else should I add to it? <laughs> okay, you guys. I think that's gonna be it for the end of this video. So yes, this is gonna be our last guy. It's a lemon looking rat because it is a lemon and a rat. So I know I didn't really add a background on it. I didn't know if you guys wanted to see that. Definitely let me know in the next episode if you would like to see a background actually with all these drawings or whatnot but i think this is going to be pretty fun in us series you know whatever or anything i just realized i might have forgotten to put his uh back legs on this picture but let's just say that they're under the limit for right now okay you guys but anyways definitely comment down below what you would like to see now a lot of people will say like just one word things for these drawing in your comment series so put some effort into it and just say like i don't know like a lot more things add a lot of adjectives to whatever you're saying and Try not to go for aiming for a pug too many times. I know a lot of people want me to draw, but as you can see by that first picture, I didn't really do too good with the pug. All right, you guys, I think that's going to be it for the end of this video. So definitely let me know if you did enjoy it. But uh, yeah, I want to thank all of you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day and uh, peace.